Health Minister Erin Monswaledi says reports about chaotic conditions around health issues in Gauteng are receiving urgent attention. And the NPA says it expects a ruling on the appeal by murder-accused Shreen Diwani against his extradition to South Africa before the end of March. I'm Richard Brooks. Health Minister Erin Motswaledi says reports about chaotic conditions around health issues in Gauteng are receiving urgent attention. At least two babies have died in the maternity ward of Soweto's Chris Harney Baragwanath Hospital due to a shortage of nurses. The Treatment Action Campaign says it's ready to litigate against the Provincial Health Department should it not clear outstanding debt to suppliers by the end of the week. The closure of at least four health laboratories in Gauteng have also severely impacted on patients, while the department has not paid the tuition fees of radiography students at the University of Johannesburg. Motswaledi elaborates. And so what we are going to do as part of this intervention is to make sure that the next budget, that means the 2012-18 budget, we are going to help them draw it from the national level. We won't allow them to do it alone. So that money is directed to essential things rather than the things that has been happening for the past five years. So that's one of the things we are going to do to make sure that this type of thing doesn't recur. Gautrain bus services have been reopened on the Santon as well as the Rosebank to Johannesburg CBD route. Gautrain bus drivers have been on an illegal strike since the beginning of the month, the fourth in six months. Gautrain spokesperson Kele Bukhile Machaka says additional bus routes will be reinstated as soon as replacement drivers currently being employed and trained become available. These services will, in the interim, operate between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., and they are designed to match every second train departure. So there will be a bus available from these two stations every 24 minutes during peak hour. The National Prosecuting Authority says it expects a ruling on the appeal by murder-accused Shreen Diwani against his extradition to South Africa before the end of March. A British court ruled last year that Diwani should be extradited to face murder charges relating to the death of his wife Annie. NPA spokesperson Matunzi Maha says they are still awaiting notification from their British counterparts. We can't commit to time frame as to when we can expect that notification, but we are adopting a wait and see attitude. Indications were that because term started in January, we are likely to get a date during the first.